So this problem is going to walk through a equilibrium concentration with these the small x approximation. And uh, we'll see what that means in a minute. But in this particular problem, we're going to start with an initial, con initial concentration of 0 0.175 molar SO2Cl2. And none of this and none of this. And we want to find what the equilibrium concentrations are. So in our change, some amount of this goes away. It's a one-to-one -one molar ratio here. So some amount of this forms and the same amount of this forms. And at equilibrium, I have x of this, x of this, and 0 0.175 minus x of this, OK? So I'm going to plug this into my uh, expression for getting this number. So 2.99 times 10 to the minus 7 is equal to x squared, this, t this one times this one, over 0 0.175 minus x. Now, here's the thing. I'm looking at this expression and I'm thinking, well, that is a very small value for Kc. So there's a really good chance that very little of this moves in this direction. The concentrations of these are going to be small. Subtracting a small number from this number is not going to make much of a difference. So if I say here that x is small, so small that I can ignore it, then this expression gets simplified to this. 2.99 times 10 to the minus 7 is equal to x squared over 0 0.175. That means that subtracting a very small number from this number doesn't change this number. So I can just say it's small, this number is big. Now this number doesn't go away, it stays here. But um, my expression is much easier to work with. So now when I um, work with it, I get, uh, let's see here, 5.233, yeah, 5.233, times 10 to the minus 8 is equal to x squared. So x is equal to 2.29 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. Okay, And this number is less than 5% of this number here, which means that my small x approximation appears to be a valid one. But we will check in the end to see if we're accurate. So now I have my x. That's great. I can just plug that back up into this stuff. So. 2.29 times 10 to the minus 4 molar, that is equal to my, con my concentration of SO2, which is also equal to my concentration of Cl2 at equilibrium. And then 0 0.175 minus that number is equal to my concentration of SO2Cl2, and that is actually 0 0.17477, which is approximately 0 0.175. Right? This, should, this would just round to that to three significant figures. So um, things are looking okay. Now if I plug this into my, if I try and calculate this, I should get that number. So k is going to be equal to 2.29 times 10 to the minus 4 squared over 0 0.175. And when I plug that in to my calculator, I get 2.996 times 10 to the minus 7, which is effectively that. So this small x approximation worked out in my favor. I think everything sort of worked out. So this is the result that I'm looking for. The small x approximation, what it does is it allows us to sort of reason through and simplify our math based on a small assumption. Many, many times this will save you a lot of work, but you can only use it if it's a valid assumption.